the Newcastle Jets waited until the very last day of 2022 to secure only their second three points of the calendar year. They'll be hoping that that sets the tone for a much more successful 2023. Today, however, they're faced with a stern test as they host one of the competition's powerhouses in Sydney FC, themselves coming into this game on the back of a five-game winning streak. And we are underway in Newcastle. Two teams who, well, on the face of it, are on different trajectories this season, but Newcastle so dangerous up top. And, well, with a new goalkeeper in Sydney FC's net, anything can happen today. Madison Haley already pressing really high. Haley wins the ball. Haley around Quailo. Just the defender to beat Madison Haley. 19 seconds on the clock. Sydney FC. What a remarkable time to score. The Jets defense unable to handle the pressure. Haley scores her fifth goal of the season. And that is an early blow in this game. Well, the replay for this one starts almost at the kickoff. And play is back underway live, but we'll have a look at this goal that was played back to Taryn King, whose heavy touch just allowed Madison Haley to win the ball. And she made no mistake slotting it home. That is a remarkable beginning to this game. And it sucked the air out of number two sports park. Vine intercepts, plays it to the feet of Haley. Haley will find Hawks, which has got options in the middle. Sarah Hunter! 2 0. Sydney FC have come out strong. They've come out firing. They are irrepressible. And within three minutes, the women in sky blue are two goals to the good. And Sarah Hunter spoke about her pregame and how she's come along in leaps and bounds, but Newcastle defence just nowhere to be seen. Princess Abini was free beyond Sarah Hunter as well. So much talent in this Sydney FC front line, but that is a coach killer for the Jets. And the air has just been sucked out of Newcastle. I think that goal from Haley within 20 seconds really has snuffed out any game plans the Newcastle would have had. They would have trained all week with their matchups, who to mark, and all of that within the first few minutes only to be two goals down. Now it is Lauren Allen who's pressing here, hoping to force the Sydney back line into a mistake themselves, but it comes out to Courtney Vine, probably the most dangerous player on the break in the league. Hawksby with a shot. Mackenzie Hawksby makes it three. Sydney FC, three goals within seven minutes. We see here Courtney Vines plays a neat little through ball. Hawksby first time finish. And I tell you what, it's getting difficult to keep up with here at number two sports park in Newcastle. They must find something today. This Sydney press, it is relentless at the moment. And Tobin on the ball. You can see Ash Brodigan. She's trying to press and I suspect there was probably a plan pre-game to just sit deep, let Sydney come at them and, and hit them on the counter-attack. But now, three goals down within 10 minutes. It makes that plan very difficult. They need to be proactive here. And Lauren Allen in some space. Lauren Allen squares it. Newcastle get one back. 
Adriana Konjaski. We have four goals in the first 10 minutes of this game. Do not leave your seats. Do not go anywhere. This was a fantastic break, Lauren Allen. And Adriana Konjaski gets her second goal for Newcastle. That's wonderful scenes for her. Very clever assist from Lauren Allen as well. Well, that is certainly going to breathe some new life into this game. A beanie now into the box, squares it. Almost an own goal. He's eventually ruled a goal kick. It is all action in Newcastle at the moment. You can barely take a breath. A beanie this time, cut it back from the byline. A Newcastle leg trying to keep it out. Almost into their own goal. And get away with it that time. Shay Holman, the latest in the line of defensive midfielders for Sydney FC. A couple of seasons ago, Teresa Plyas retired. Many wondered how they would fill that position. And of course, Taylor Ray came in last season, did very well. Taylor Ray, unfortunately, injured her ACL. And then this season, the talk was, well, how are they going to replace Taylor Ray? And Shay Holman, the 17-year-old, has done very well in her stead, although she's given away a foul on that occasion. <laughs> Commentator's curse. And Newcastle will have an opportunity from a set piece as we watch this foul again. Ash Brodigan just got away from Holman and just gone into the back of her then. A wild challenge, truth be told, from Holman. She's lucky to get away with that without a card. It'll be Tara Andrews standing over this one. Usually on the receiving end of a set piece is Andrews. Looks like she'll go for glory here. Tara Andrews, shot saved! Katie Offer, her teammates get around her. That looked like that was headed to the top of the net. The 23-year-old, only her second start in Sydney FC colours. This was fantastic from Tara Andrews. And Garnier being pressured by Madison Haley, who's been causing all sorts of problems to that Newcastle back line when they've had the ball at their feet. Just struggling with her intensity and her ability to win the ball back in those sorts of positions. Courtney Vine, nice bit of control. Vine, three defenders on her. She finds Hawksby, will go, and straight at Quelo. On her left foot, on her left foot, she knows that was a golden opportunity there, Hawksby. Disappointed with herself. A fantastic piece of work from Courtney Vine. And Hawksby, <laughs> you can tell from that reaction. She's already got one today. She wanted more. Another fact, certainly, that the Jets will be holding on to is they've actually scored 10 of their 12 goals before this game in the second half. So they know that they'll come out firing. Hunter wins a foul. That was Cass Davis on that occasion, guilty. Just holding Sarah Hunter there. And B, the 19-year-old, standing over this free kick. We saw one from Tyra Andrews up the other end. 
It was a great save out of offer. What can Hunter do here? Quelo forced to save. Well, we've seen two fantastic free kicks in this game and Sarah Hunter almost with Sydney's fourth and just kept bending away from Quelo. Perhaps just a little bit too weak to beat the keeper. Thirty more seconds in this half for Newcastle. Ball turned over there. Holman, Hunter, Vine. Waiting for numbers. Vine will go herself here. Courtney Vine to Haley. Haley unleashes. Quilo watches it go wide, and that is half time. A frenetic opening 10 minutes that saw four goals. As we see, Madison Haley's shot there that ended that half. A frenetic first 10 minutes off, a total of four goals. Madison Haley scored within 20 seconds of this game starting. Followed shortly by Sarah Hunter and Mackenzie Hawksby. The Jets did get one back through Adriana Koniarski, but you sense it will be a difficult road back in this second half for the Jets. Half time, it's a Newcastle Jets one, Sydney FC three. It is fairly miserable weather in Newcastle at the moment. You can see sheets of rain hammering down on the players. But for Sydney FC fans, they won't mind as it stands, whether it can be as miserable as it likes. Three points is the aim, and Madison Haley gets us back underway. In the second half, Tara Andrews trying to do what Madison Haley did to them and win the ball back off the goal kick. And Newcastle will play it out from the back. It was really an extraordinary first 10 minutes. If you're just joining us, the goals kept on coming. It was 3-0 Sydney FC. And then Newcastle got one back and it was all within the first 10 minutes. Game settled into a little bit more of a rhythm since that point. And Sydney FC looking to add more goals, but Newcastle Jets certainly not out of it. They know how to find the back of the net, this team. And while they do concede a lot, they can score as well. And it will be all that Sydney can do to try to keep them out in this second half. Be Garnier in some space for Newcastle. We'll play it up the line. Lauren Allen find an overlapping Tegan Allen. Who attempts to win it from Deborah Ann Della Harp. Newcastle with the corner. Cass Davis will take the corner. Dangerous one. And is it bundled over the line? What has the referee said? She said yes. Newcastle get another one back early on in this half. Sydney FC concede their first set piece goal of the season. That corner from Cass Davis. Is it an Olympico? We'll have to get the dubious goals committee out for that one. Offa just not able to deal with the pressure. It looks like Tyra Andrews, in fact, may have gotten the last touch. We'll see here. Yeah, rebounded from Offa onto Andrews, who was on that spot. The wind making things very difficult to deal with for the Sydney FC shot stopper. And Newcastle. Wow, they've got a sniff now. They've got two back after that fast start from Sydney. 
the wind and the conditions wreaking all sorts of havoc on Sydney FC's set piece defence. And that's the danger for Sydney, those counter attacks from Newcastle. They're so, so dangerous. It is Abini speaking of dangerous players. Driving into the penalty area. Princess Abini. Penalty. Princess Abini taken down in the Newcastle penalty area. Tegan Allen protests her innocence, but the call has been made. Really clever ball to Abini. Oh, Allen will claim that Abini made the most of that contact, but there certainly was contact. And it's Claire Quaylo that Princess Abini must beat. Sydney FC. Princess Abini scores. Perfect penalty from Abini into the corner of the net. And Sydney FC score their fourth. And that makes Newcastle's task so much harder now. A wonderfully taken penalty from Princess Abini. Her second goal of the season. Long ball from Newcastle. We might start to see a few more of those. Andrews in midfield. Ball into the penalty area. Palmed away by Offer. Newcastle player was lurking. Taken out there, Ash Brodigan. Referee says play on. And Sydney FC will come away with it. And Newcastle have the throw. And we will see a substitution for Newcastle. It'll be... Sophie Stapleford, a girl from Maitland, Northern New South Wales, NPL, coming off the coming on the pitch. Tara Andrews coming off. Mara Gooch as well on for Lauren Allen. Some fresh legs in the last 10 minutes thrown onto the pitch from Ash Wilson trying to find something here the Jets in front of their home fans who have not stopped making noise all game and this is an opportunity earlier Katie Offer did well to just palm it away and well, Charlie Rule agriculturally dealt with Ash Bodigan referee said that it was a fair bump and to play on. Newcastle have five minutes of stoppage time. They look out on their feet, to be fair. But they will keep coming and coming and coming. And they give away a foul there. So we see this, Shay Holman did win the ball. And fair enough from the referee. And Sydney FC, we might see them start to go for the corners, although Stanish Floody looked for a beanie. Couldn't quite find her, wasn't quite on the same wavelength. She was a scholarship player last season, Stanish Floody, so is familiar with this team and her teammates are slowly getting more and more minutes as she gets older and as she gets more experienced. Stanish Buddy also part of that under 18 team that went to Indonesia and won the under 18 AFF championship. 
as well as Talia Franco, who's the backup goalkeeper today in the absence of Jada Wyman. Newcastle now forcing it forward, trying everything to get this ball going in the right direction. They've got numbers in the box. Tessa Tamplin will try and chase that down, but that throw in still a little bit too much heat. And Katie Offer will take all the time that she can with this goal kick. Might only be her second start in this competition, but she would be experienced enough to know that she can take her time as a goalkeeper in that situation. Beanie keeps a hold of the ball. Back to Tobin. Della Harp and Tobin. Tobin kick for space herself. Newcastle now forward. They must get numbers forward if they are to be any chance Getting a point from this game. We've seen stranger things happen in this competition. It does look like time is running out for the women in gold. Inventive back heel trying to find Gooch. Newcastle now, last chance. One minute and 10 seconds of allotted stoppage time left for Newcastle to somehow find two goals. And Sydney FC do come away with it. Rachel Lowe will play it to Abini, who you'd imagine will run for the hills here. Plays it central to Stanish Floody. Low. Go a little bit of a run with it. It's a debating whether she should launch a ball in. Decides against it. Low overlapping run. Newcastle defend. Well, for the Jets, their next game is away against Canberra. That will be an interesting contest, Canberra. Certainly have looked exciting in these past few weeks, but maybe not getting the reward for their endeavour on the score sheet. Sydney FC, one last opportunity for them. Courtney Vine inventive into the gloves of Quailo, and that is a full time and exciting outing here at number two sports park in Newcastle. Early goals to Sydney FC, including Madison Haley goal within 19 seconds mean that the final score here is Newcastle Jets two, Sydney FC four.